So let's go ahead and solve number 5. Let's go ahead and find some zeros for this x, I mean this parabola. Okay? Now everything needs to be in standard form. So I'm going to move the negative 12 and the 9 over. So that becomes b squared plus 12b minus 9 equals 0. Let's go ahead and identify our a. a is 1, b is 12, and c is negative 9. So let's go ahead and substitute it into our quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so I'm going to put a negative 12 inside my b and 12 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 9 all over 2 times 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify. So x equals negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 squared is 144. Now we have a negative and a positive and a negative. So that means I'm going to have, by the way, that was a 4 plus, okay, so 4 times 9 is 36 over 2. So we have negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 plus 36 is 180 over 2. Okay, now let's make a factor tree for 180. Okay, we have 2, and then we have 90, and then we have 2, and then 45, and then we have 5, and then 9, and then we have 3, and 3. So we have a 2, and a 2, and a 5, and a 3, and a 3. I like to always check, so I'm going to multiply those factors out to make sure I get 180. 3 times 3, yep, 180. So let's go ahead and put that back into the radical. Because you guys kind of get confused sometimes when you take things out of the radical. So I like to always show you what's going on. Okay. Having too much fun doing math. While Gary is outside mowing the lawn. Okay. So we have a 2 here. We can take that out. We have a 3 here. We can go ahead and take that out. So 2 times 3. Let's just write it like this. 2 times 3 to the square root of 5. We have 5 inside over 2. So x equals negative 12 plus or minus 6 to the square root of 5 over 2. We have two terms here, so let's both separate that out and divide it by 2. Okay, so negative 12 over 2 plus or minus 6 square root of 5 over 2. So I end up with a negative 6 plus or minus, this is 1 and then 6, plus or minus, and then 1, and then 3, 3 to the square root of 5. Ta-da! All done. So this parabola actually has x-intercepts. Yeah, we just have to estimate them. Okay? Good, good job. All done.